Right, I've arrived on a very cold, windy 30th of May 2023. We've had lovely weather and today it's freezing. And it's very grey. It's supposed to be blue sky and warm today, 20, 21 degrees. Now I'm hoping it'll warm up because I didn't put a jumper on, didn't bring a scarf. I've got a windshield on and two light thin t-shirts but I did wear my trousers because I know I'm going to do some exploring today um, it's a bit cold I have got a hood if necessary I seen this route the other day I've got no idea if it's any good or not I don't look like it's been used for a bit it's a bit prickly so anyway I left my trousers on thank goodness um, I, like do, I like to do a bit of exploring anyway. So that's the main A38 back there. Hopefully I might be a bit sheltered from this very cold wind. It's very cold. Um, it's a northeast wind. Ah, if I'd thought what I should have done is gone out and assess before I come out. Uh, you can't, the weather don't really tell you. It said it was going to be grey and cold on the east side of the country and warm and a bit blowy this side. As it is, it, I'm hoping I'm going to warm up because I don't know where I'm going or anything yet. This is all unknown territory. For your own safety, please keep away from cows and calves and, and avoid bring. Well, I'm going to see what is, if there's lots of cows and calves. I won't be coming in there. If they're sort of around the corner. Public footpath. Well, I can't see any evidence of cows at the moment. So the looks like the footpath is straight across. I can't see no cows and no evidence of cow pack. At least we got warned. And it says over here. I don't know how many cows I'm going to have to possibly bump into. I can't see evidence of any. There's no cow pack. I thought there would be fields. I'm videoing because this is totally new. This is a totally new experience coming here. So, uh, I've got no idea if I'm walking in to a pack of cows either. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> There's evidence of cow pack dry. This was my only fear, I think, when I thought I'd be... And of course, it's horrible weather. It's really, really cold. My face is frozen. Now why I'm so cold is because I got cold on the bus. I got, he had all the windows open. It was freezing. I did shut the window by me, but all the other windows were open wide. And, uh, God, I was so cold. It's not good for me to be cold. I don't normally put myself at risk with cold, ever. This is a big risk with dodgy buses that don't run very often. I'm trying to find the way out. You can see a bit of a trail here. Obviously they do have cows in here sometimes. I hope there is a trail. 
and video, and like I say, it'd be a bit bumpy, folks. Very grey. Very, very grey. Well, we made that bit. I'm going to turn off and take a picture. But we made that bit. Fortunately, there were no cows in that section. There's a few. What's left of the wild well, garlic there, look. Right, over right, and out. Small videos. I got through a field. Fortunately, there were no cows in it. Fortunately. And it was big warnings of cows and calves. Big warnings. I think I'd carry on down next time. Go down to the Churchill Gate. Rather than risk it if there were cows in there. I could risk cows now. I've got no idea. Anyway, I'm going along this track, everyone. It's the 30th of May. 2000. And 23. This is video two. This is Sheila over at uh, Dolbury, and the woods are all up there, and the hill fort will be up the top there. Um, I have got a map. Here's my map. One I did a while back. Well, I did one yesterday. Very small. And I did this one, say a year ago, much bigger. And I am, let me see where I am now. Um, I've just gone across that field and I'm going along this track here behind what should be Warren House. And I'm supposed to be going, going this way. So I just do a bit of video and it's sheltered here. Thank goodness. That's what I thought it might be sheltered so I could do it. It won't be sheltered on the way back up the fort though. I'm hoping to get to, um, what do you call it? Burrington Church. That's plan A. Style and dark wood. Right, so I've just come that way. This is brand new experience. Now, we've now got a choice of going up. Now that'll take you up to the wood, I reckon. Because on there, there was a turning and I thought, no, don't go up that one. That'll take you up to the fort. That's what I think. Um, and that's a different path. And I've seen that path before from the top. Wondered where it gets. I've got to carry on here. I've got to carry on straight. I don't turn up yet. It's rather nice though. Look at these tall trees. I'll carry on videoing for a minute. No zoom on, is there? I'll try and keep the camera still. It's just not easy. It looks like there are fields down there. It looks like we we can follow a track here, which is good. Basically, if there was just one field of cows, then there is a way of not having to go through that field. Uh, it's best to avoid them. If I come back next time, this way, I'll go down to the triangle, I think. Look at these trees. It's a bit spooky. Bit spooky. It's dark today. There's no blue sky. They said it was going to be blue sky and 21 degrees, and at the moment it's grey sky. It even looks like it's rain. And I'm protected by these beautiful trees. There's Sheila Wood here. Wood. Wood. Sheila Woods here. And Sheila Lockwood. Of course, you can see why that fell. They all look a bit unstable, don't they? Look, that wouldn't do you any good if it fell on your gun. 
what, what's happening? I'm skirting Dolbury and Roborough Hill Hillfort on the other side that I've never done before. Uh, the more civilised side, I suppose, because I'm near fields. Can't see no streams or anything like that. But there's a lovely path that I'm following. And I know that I've got to ascend at some point as well. Seems to me they fall over quite frequently here and it is windy today. So it is risky. Ah, now what does that say? Private land. It looks like there's an arrow. Which way is the arrow pointing? Diverted. No public access, that's all right. Well, on the thing, it said you had to uh, go in front of the house. But I don't mind going down here as long as I have to go for any fields or cows. It's quite cold. I, uh, in fact, I could have done with a scarf, hat and gloves. That's how cold it is. It's very, very icy. It's a northeast wind. And it is um, quite, quite breezy. Quite breezy indeed. I'm going to go along a bit and then I'm going to take some photos. I think I'll take one now before I leave the, the tall trees. Right, I don't know if I video, I don't know if videos came out what I've just done. Um, somebody coming up the drive. Could be a walker, can that? I can have company in a minute. Right, so we've got the Woodland Trust. Welcome. Dolbury Warren, here we are. Now before we go up there, let's just have a look round. This is obviously a car parking area for people who are dog walkers. And they obviously haven't got it open today. So here we go, there's a sign up there. And it could be someone with a dog. I'll just let them go by though, because I'm not really wanting to walk with anybody, if you know what I mean. Oh, there's a big sign. Yes, I'm glad I found that. Do you know, it was pure accident that I came across that sign saying to Barrington. It was pure. I never noticed it the other times I'd crossed that road there. I'd never seen that sign before. I might have crossed at a different angle. But I decided, no, come and explore it, Shell. And I bet in the winter there's a way up through there. You can see, look. God, I haven't seen this sign before. Dalbury Warren. Shaped by history. Woodpeckers, birch, polypore. The lookout. Taking the view from the lookout, an enclosed stone platform rebuilt by Dalbury Warren Volunteer Group. It is a relic of the pleasure gardens of the now demolished Mendip Lodge. The lookout loop. This circular walk through the woods to the lookout is worth it for the views. On a clear day you can see the Bristol Channel and the hills of South Wales. The path is a mixture of unsurfaced steep tracks and narrow paths that can be muddy after rain. There are some steep slopes. Allow an hour. One, uh, one mile. So obviously you've come back somewhere. Dobry is part of the mosaic of woodland and grassland habitat that stretches for many miles along the north scarp of the Mendip Hills. The wood would have been coppice to produce the fences that surround the hill fort, while the name Warren hints at a later history of raising rabbits. In the late 18th century, the wood was part of the thousand acre estate of the Reverend Dr. Sedgwick Wally. Influenced by its history, by its history, Dolby Warren is a mix of ash, oak and hazel with ancient small-leaved lime coppice stalls, yews and veteran oaks with conifer and beech plantations. We are gradually removing the more recent planted non-native conifers. 
letting in natural light to allow ancient native woodland species to flourish. And there we got the woodpecker. Right, just some. Um, that was quite good, wasn't it? It's welcoming, really. I'm glad I've done it now. Because I could have so easily have said, no, go home. It's too cold. Whereas I walk all year round, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, turn off she and take a picture of that.